This conference will now be recorded. So in the previous session, we have discussed about licenses and we have discussed what exactly a license and what it indicates <laughs> and what type of licenses available in Salesforce and what each and, each and every license type describes what kind of features that we can access by using each license type and how can we see the available licenses inside your Salesforce R and how can we verify how many licenses that we have, how many licenses that we have used, how many still remains, when the license will get expired, how can we check all these details we have discussed in the previous session. And then whenever we are assigning a license to the user to control the visibility of the required features, we have introduced a mediator component that is called as profiles. And we have discussed what exactly a profile and what it contains, what is the use of a profile, and what kind of permissions that we can grant through profiles, and what type of profiles are available in Salesforce, what is standard, what is custom profiles, which we have discussed in the previous session. Okay, now. So now today we'll see. How can we create our own custom profiles which we can assign to the required users so that we can add our own users also inside our Salesforce R. So the users can log in into their Salesforce accounts. They can access the applications and the features and everything one by one. Okay, now. So now yesterday we have discussed about the theoretical information of profiles. I haven't given any notes over there. So now let me okay, provide the notes first and then we'll see the practical functionalities of each and every feature, how to create the profiles. Okay, make a note of this one. Profiles. Profile is nothing but a component. Profile is nothing but a component which contains one or more permissions that means a group of permissions a group of permissions which can be assigned to one or more users inside the organization profile is nothing but a component which contains a group of permissions which can be assigned to one or more users inside the organization. Profile is acting as a mediator between the user and organization. Between the user and organization. By using profile, we can decide what features the user can access. What features the user can access inside the organization. While adding the users, each user should be associated with a profile, with a profile. But a profile can be associated to with one or more users. Each user should be associated with a profile 
but a profile can be assigned to one or more users. By using profiles, we can grant the permissions on applications, tabs, objects, fields, features, etc. Salesforce provides two types of profiles. First one, standard profiles. Second one, custom profiles. Standard profiles means these are the ready-made profiles provided by Salesforce by default, which can be editable up to some extent. But we, we can't remove these profiles from the organization. That means standard profiles can be editable up to some extent, but these standard profiles cannot be removable from your organization. Second one, custom profiles. The Salesforce administrator or developer can create custom profiles based on the need the salesforce administrator or developer can create custom profiles based on the need and assign to the users custom profiles can be fully editable and removable removable no it is always recommended by the sales force to create the custom profiles by cloning an existing ones and assign the custom profiles to the users. So don't assign the standard profiles to the users. Please create your own custom profiles and then assign these custom profiles to the users. All the profiles information will get resides inside the profile object. Each profile should be associated with a license type, but with one license type, we can create multiple profiles. But with one license type, we can create multiple profiles.
or can you scroll down? Done up to standard profiles. Then how can we create our own custom profiles now? Let's see. Creating custom profiles. If you want to create a new custom profile, go to the profiles option. From there, you will be having a button called as a new profile button. From there, we can create our own new profiles also. Now, let me give you the navigation. Click on Setup Menu. Search for the option profiles in quick friend box. Click on new profile button. Select the existing profile name from the pick list. Enter the new profile name in the text box. Click on save button. So this is the navigation we used to follow in order to create your own custom profiles. So we can see all the profiles available inside your Salesforce are including standard and custom. And additionally, if you want your own custom profiles, then we can create them by using this navigation.
done with the navigation? Now, let's see how can we create our own custom profiles. First of all, let me show you the navigation first, and then I will show you how to create our own custom profiles and what license typed profiles we need to create. I will show you one by one. Now, I'm going to my Salesforce org now. I'm going to my Salesforce R. Search for the option profiles. Now we can see all the list of profiles, including standard, including custom, all the profiles information we can able to see at one place over here. Now these are the profile names. That already told you each profile should be associated with a license type, not with the license. Okay, it will be associated with the license type. Suppose I'm having Salesforce license. How many licenses are available? Two licenses here. Don't count the number of licenses, license type, what type of license it is. This is a Salesforce license type. So with the Salesforce license type, we can create multiple profiles also, depends upon the requirement. Okay, now. So now here I'm having this a Salesforce, okay? Licenses are available and the profiles are also available. Let's see, this is one profile over here. The profile name is Analytics Cloud Integration User. Second profile name is Analytics Cloud Security User. But both are belongs to the same license type over here. Both are belongs to same license type. So Analytics Cloud Integration User type. This is the profile name. So this is the profile type over here. With this profile type, we are having two licenses or two profiles are available. So this is a license type. With this license type, we are having two profiles are available here. Now, next one here. It is indicating this. So now there is a column called as custom column, which is used to indicate whether it is standard profile or custom profile. If the checkbox is selected, then it will be indicating this is a custom. If it is not selected, that means it's a standard. So that's what when you go to this action column, we can see only edit and clone option, no remove option, no delete option is available. That's what I told you, standard profiles are, okay, up to some extent we can edit, but we can't remove these standard profiles from the organization, we can't delete them over here. Okay, now let's see. So now here in this case, I would like to create my own custom profile also. Whenever we are going to be creating the profile, we have to check. Okay, we have to check what licenses are available with me. So now tell me what licenses are available with me. I have one Salesforce license is available here. Three platform licenses are available. And we have some other license types also, like a starter free license. We have customer community licenses are also available. But those licenses won't allow me to grant the permissions on my applications. If you want to grant the permissions on the applications or objects or fields or the features, then we can go with the help of either Salesforce license or platform license here. I have one Salesforce license is still available with me. I have three platform licenses are available here. Okay, now, so now this Salesforce license we can assign to one user. These three platform licenses we can assign to three different users. So totally four users we can create inside my organization additionally. Already we have training that user is available. Along with this user, we can create four more users additionally. So totally we can have five users inside my organization in free developer edition. Here, understood the concept? Because we have two Salesforce licenses, three platform licenses. Here. So five licenses are available. So with these five licenses, we can create five users inside our organization. Already one user has been created over here upon creating your Salesforce account. So still four more licenses are available. I can create four users with these four licenses. Okay, now. But whenever we are going to be creating the user that already told you we require two things are mandatory. 
upon creating the user we need two things are mandatory first one a license second one profile both are mandatory without any one of this it may be without profile or without license we can't create the user records both are mandatory so each user should have the license and the profile mandatory lyric wise here so now assume that i'm having salesforce license available with me now let me check it out i'm going to my system overview when i come down i can see that license here now here i'm having this a salesforce license totally salesforce has given two licenses to me one license is already in use so 50% has been occupied still 50% is remains here so that we can able to create one more user by using this license if you want to create a user by assigning this license we need one profile also the profile will be associated with this license type what are the profile you are going to create that profile will be associated with this license step that means your license your profile should be both should be in sync always okay it should be sync because that already told you each profile should be associated with a license type so i have salesforce license is available with me now i want to create a profile which is the type salesforce license or a type okay which is a salesforce license or a type with the type salesforce license we have some profiles given by salesforce take any one of the profile we can make it clone and then we can create our own custom profile over here okay understood the concept now now let's see here in this case i would like to create two profiles right now one profile will be of type salesforce license type because i'm having one license is available still with me here now i'm going to be creating one more profile with a platform license type so now as the same profile i would like to present to remaining three users also because we know so the each user should be associated with one profile but one profile can be assigned to multiple users also yesterday i have given that complete pictorial information also to you as part of this i have given that information i have given this information to you so now each profile each profile should be associated with a license type but one with one license type we can have multiple profiles each user should be associated with one profile but one profile can be associated with multiple users also okay that we have discussed in the previous session over here now now i would like to create a profile over here now let's see how can we create the profile now let me explain now 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 make a note over here while creating a new user each user should be associated with a profile and a license each user should be associated with a profile and a license create the below two profiles i want to create two profiles over here first one salesforce license and a profile because i have one license available here one license available with me one license is available now existing profile name take the existing profile as standard user profile give the new profile name with what name you would like to create the profile i am giving as cis a salesforce profile second one platform license the profile i have three licenses available here 
I want to create a profile. Now I'm using existing profile name. Salesforce platform user. New profile name as CIS platform profile. CIS platform profile. Done. Now, let's see how can we create these two profiles. I want to create two profiles. One profile will be of type Salesforce licensed type. Second profile will be of type platform licensed type because I have these two types of licenses available with me. I have one Salesforce license still available, three platform licenses still available with me. So, to so now with this Salesforce license type, I'm creating one profile. That profile I would like to assign to one user. And with the platform license type, I will create another profile. That same profile I will assign to three users over here because we know one profile can be assigned to multiple users also. Okay, now let's see. Let me create these two profiles right now. I want to create the profile with the name CIS Salesforce profile. Let me go to your Salesforce arc. Go to the profiles. Click on new profile button. Select the existing profile to make it clone. We can't create that profile from the scratch. Always we have to make it clone. Take an existing profile and make it clone and then make the changes whatever you want. So select this existing profile. Whenever I'm selecting the profile name, automatically this profile might be associated with a license, right? So now that already I do told you each profile should be associated with a license type that license name will be populating here automatically it will populate that license name now for example i'm selecting the profile name as charter free user it is indicating this is the charter free license type over now i'm having authenticated website profile it is indicating authenticated website license type i'm having external apps force login now it is indicating external apps login License type. So now here, I would like to create the two profiles. One is of type Salesforce license. So because I'm having Salesforce license and platform licenses available with me, let me select that profile as standard okay user. Standard user profile. Now this profile will be of type which type of license here? Salesforce. Do you have Salesforce licenses with you? Yes. How many? One. So with that new license, how many users we can add? one user right so that here i am going to be creating 
a profile which is of type Salesforce license type. Because here, whenever we are creating a user, whenever if you are allocating a live profile, if the profile will be checking, this profile is exactly matching with the license type or not. Both should be in sync. Then only we can create the user or else it won't allow. Okay, now. So now let's see. So now we are having this profile. This is the profile standard for user profile. I would like to make it clone. I'm giving that profile name as CIS, a Salesforce profile. Because this is a Salesforce license of the type profile, that's what I'm giving the name. CIS, a Salesforce profile. We can give any name, whatever you want for your profile. Like as HR profile, sales profile, service profile, whatever you want, we can provide the profile name. Okay, it depends upon your requirement. Now click on save button. Now your new profile has been created successfully with the name CIS Salesforce profile. Clear? Now, next, second one. Click on this profiles. Click on new profile button. I want to create one more new profile with the name CIS platform profile by cloning the profile name as Salesforce platform user. Now select that profile name as Salesforce platform user. So the standard platform user okay select that profile name as standard platform user which is the pipe license okay salesforce platform license i have three platform licenses available with me so that i would like to create this profile here with this name here cis platform profile now click on save button so now both the profiles has been created successfully so now I'm ready with the profiles, I'm ready with the licenses. Now I'm good to go with creating user records. Okay, now. So now here in this case here we can specify this is a standard platform. Okay, standard platform user. Now, so these are the two profiles that we have created. One is Salesforce license or type. Second one, platform license or type profile which we have created. Okay, clear now. So now here in this case, let's see. So now I would like to create the users right now. Okay, I'm ready with the profiles. I'm ready with the licenses available with me. Now I would like to add the users by assigning these profiles, by assigning these licenses. Now. So now don't get confused with this profile concept here. Okay, now license and the profile both should be in sync. Like for example, come to a small scenario. Assume that. For example, assume that I have an iPhone. Okay, assume that I have an iPhone. So now I would like to okay purchase. Okay, I would like to purchase a because some flip cover. Okay, I would like to purchase this flip cover for my mobile here for iPhone. So when I go to that iPhone, if you want to purchase a flip cover or it may be like as a back pouch or it may be like as a glass also, screen glass also here, okay? So now at that time here, so now they will ask you what type of mobile that we have, okay? I said that I'm having iPhone. iPhone what? What is that model? iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14 or what? If 14, what is that model number here? Is it iPhone 14 mini? iPhone 14? Or iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max because models are having some different different screen sizes. The screen glass will be completely different over here. That means the display glass will be completely different. So we have to indicate whenever if you want to buy a particular okay, glass, then we have to check that whether this glass is suitable for this particular mobile model or not. We need to check it out. The glass and then the mobile model both should be exactly in sync. Okay, then only we can able to use that glass for our mobile phone, or else we can't apply. So like the similar way, whatever the profile that we have, profile should be exactly synced with that license type here. Okay, now. So now let's see. Now I want to create the users now. I'm ready with the licenses. I'm ready with the profiles also both. Now let's see how can we add the users. So let's go with user management. Let's go with user management.
let's see what exactly a user and how can we add the users to the salesforce arc how the user can access my applications my objects my tabs my fields my data my features how these people can access now let's see one by one so now tell me generally user in the sense what user means who for example they have a banking applications banking application who are accessing these applications customers employees partners end users so many people are accessing those people are called as what users okay so now when coming to the user the user is nothing but a person okay user is nothing but a person who can log in into your salesforce or they can access your data they can access your applications they can access your features also which you have configured in the past so when coming to the user the user is nothing but a person who can log in into your salesforce organization and they can access your applications and the objects and the features and the data everything user can be a customer or a partner or employee or end user anything user may be either a customer also he may be a employee also he may be a partner also he may be a end user also anybody if he is a customer we can grant very limited permissions if he is an employee he will be having more permissions will be available if he is a partner some little bit customization permissions available for the end user very less permissions will be available for them so depends upon the user type we can grant some different different permissions over here we can make some different different features to be exposed to the people as well okay for the employees we are granting more applications accessibility for the customer little bit applications accessibility for the partners some more number of applications accessibility for the end users very less number of applications accessibility so depends upon the user type we can grant the respective application permissions and the features to the users then how can we add the users to our salesforce org whenever we are adding the user to the salesforce organization we have two steps are available there are two simple steps are available upon adding the user to our salesforce org okay now now for example here assume that come to a small scenario assume that i want to create a new salesforce account how can we create you know in the starting classes i told you how to create your own free developer account key now tell me upon creating a new salesforce developer account how many steps are available two simple steps are available what are those steps as the step 1 fill up the registration form we are having the registration form is available which we can able to access by using okay https developer.salesforce.com/sign up so the sign up form will be getting opened for me i will enter all the data inside that submit the data with this details it will create a new salesforce account for me that account activation link will be sending to my email id automatically that is the first step as a step 2 i have to go to my email account open the email notification received from salesforce click on verify account button and then we can enter the password confirm password security question and the answer here this is the second step so that i can able to change the password i can log in into my application from there onwards i can access each and every feature these are the two steps like the similar fashion here also upon adding the user we have two steps are available okay upon adding the user we have two steps are available here so what are those steps now let me explain for example assume that this is my salesforce.com organization that we have so this is my salesforce.com organization that we have i'm using this application okay for my business okay assume that i'm using this application for my business so i'm running a small supermarket business here to store all my customers data my products data sales data everything i'm using this salesforce crm team. so recently i have started this supermarket okay one month back since one month 
I am the only person is managing the supermarket because I don't have much customers initially. So I'm having hardly some hundred to two two hundred customers are visiting my supermarket every day. So so now I don't have any employees over here. I'm the only person is taking care of my whole business. Okay, processes here. Now my business is slowly growing. Okay, slowly so many new customers are adding to my organization. So many new people are coming to my supermarket because I'm offering very good quality products to the customers. I'm offering some discounts also to the people, so that so many people are showing interest to buy my products also from my supermarket. So so many customers are visiting my supermarket. So in this case, I can't take up my whole business by my own because the whole activities I can't take up. I need some more employees. Here. So in this case, assume that I have recruited. Two more employees here. One person is for sales. One person is for service. Here. Assume that he is for sales. He is for service. Here. These are the two people over here. Assume that his name is Ramesh. His name is some Pawan here. These two people have recruited okay to work in my supermarket here as an employees. He is one employee. He is also one of the employee. He is taking care of sales by sitting in that okay billing counter. He is taking care of service over here. Now I will take care of the whole marketing and everything. I will take care of that here. Now, so from today onwards, not only myself, these two people are also employees of my organization. So now this person should be able to access my Salesforce account. This person also should be able to access my Salesforce account. Then how can we add these two people as users? Okay, how can we add these two people as users inside my organization? Whenever, if you want to add this user, we have to assign one license, one profile. Upon adding the second user, we need to add one U license. We need to assign one profile over here. Then, how can we add these people as users inside my organization? So that along with me, these two people also can log in into my Salesforce R. They can access sales application. They can access service application over here. Okay. So now these two are the employees of my organization. Then, how can we add these users? Now let me explain one by one. Upon adding these users inside my organization, here also we have two steps are available. As a step one, we need to create a user record. Okay, we need to create a user record. How to create the user records? For that one, we have user object. You know? Do you know how to create the account record? Yes. How can we create? Go to account tab. Click on new button. Enter the data. Click on save. Like the similar fashion, go to the user update. Click on new button. Enter the new user's data. Click on save. That's it. Simple. Okay. I'm not using the plugins. I'm not using the developer that Salesforce.com because I'm not creating separate account. These two people should be the member of my Salesforce organization. These two people are also users of my organization. Along with me, other people also can access over here. Okay. Clear. So in this case, how can we add these users to my organization? Now let's see. Upon adding the users to the organization, we have two steps are available. As a step one, fill up the user record here. That means create one user record with this user details. Upon creating the user record, we have to enter some data like the user's first name, last name, nickname, alias name, title. And then email ID, and then we can specify the username with which username you want to create this user record. We can specify his designation, department, division, company name, license, profile, everything. So we have to enter all these details. Now click on save button. As soon as once I click on the save button, a new user will be getting added inside my organization. That user's activation link will be sending to this user automatically by default. Okay. Once I create a new user record, the user activation link will be sending to this user's email ID automatically by default. Now the user can go to his email account, click on verify account button, enter the password. Confirm password, security question, and the answer, and he can log in into my Salesforce account. He can access my data also. Okay, clear? Understood the concept now? Now let's see how can we create these users. Now let me show you with the practical here. Now let me give you the navigation first, and then I will show you the with the practical use case. Now make a note of this. 
user is nothing but the person user is nothing but the person who can log in into the salesforce organization and access the data and applications access the data and applications we can add one or more users to the organization we can add one or more users to the organization each user should be associated with a license and a profile that is a fundamental rule user can be a customer or partner or employee or end user end user while adding the users we have the below two step approach now as a step 1 create a new user record with the required details in this case what we can do click on set up menu search for the option users search for the option users in quick find box search for the option users in quick find box click on new user button in order to create a new user record click on new user button enter the user details in the fields for example first name last name alias name nickname title email id username company department division etc select the license to be assigned select the license to be get assigned from the pictures control select the profile name from the pick list to be get assigned and then click on save button the observation is it will add a new user to the organization will send the activation link to the user's email id and will send the activation link to the user's email id automatically by default as a step 2 activate the user how can we go to that log in to the user's email account open the email received from salesforce
click on verify account button enter the password confirm password security question and answer click on change password button change the password button now the observation it will reset the user password and will redirect the user the salesforce account these are the two simple steps for every user we have to follow this at the same two steps Done with the navigation. No, no, no. Because this will be available as it is. If the administrator does not log in into the Salesforce account, we will be deactivating the whole account.
sir if, sir if the use profile is deleted related uh, to the user also deleted no if the profile is already referenced by a user salesforce won't allow you to remove this profile okay done now let's see how can we add this users now let me explain so now i am having four licenses available with me so with these four licenses i would like to create four users okay now how to create this users now let's see create the below four users Salesforce licensed user. That means I want to create a user by assigning the Salesforce license. Okay, by assigning Salesforce license. For this user, I want to give the name as development user. You can give any name. Your friend name also, your colleague name also, relatives name also, anything, whatever you want, you can create that user name here. Like as Ramesh Kumar. Pavan Kumar, whatever, anything. So now, what are the Salesforce license that we have? That Salesforce license I want to assign to this user, that is development user. Platform licensed user. I want to create three users because I have three platform licenses available with me. I want to create the user with the name. Manager user and customer user and the testing user. So these are the three more users I would like to create. So I have totally four licenses available with me. With those four licenses, I want to add four users. So I want to create the user, development user. For this user, I want to assign Salesforce license. And I would like to create three more users, a manager user, customer user, and the testing user. So for these three people, I want to assign three platform licenses. So all the four licenses I would like to use right now by creating these four users. How to add these four users? Now let me show you one by one. And I will show you how these users can log in into my Salesforce R, how they can access my applications and the data. We'll see. And from there, we'll see how can we restrict the visibility. We'll see one by one. Okay, now. So now let's go to your Salesforce R. Click on this setup menu. Go to the quick find box and search for the option users. Search for the option users. Click on this users screen. Now we can see the user details here. Okay, we can see the user details. So now this is the training batch user which has been created by Salesforce upon creating the Salesforce account. For that user, it has assigned one Salesforce license which is having the profile system administrator profile here. Okay, now. Now I want to create few more users also because I'm having four more licenses available with me. One Salesforce license, three platform licenses. So with these four licenses, I want to create four users. Let me create the first user that is development user. Now by assigning Salesforce license. Now let's see. Before that, let me show you your system overview. Let me check the system overview. How many Salesforce licenses are available with me still? One. Two Salesforce licenses are available here. I have used one. Still one license is remains with me here. Now, I am using that license also to create a new user. Now, I want to create a new user now. Go to the user section. Click on new user button to create a new user record. Specify the user details. I am giving the first name as user. 
last name as development alias name will be preparing the salesforce email id we can specify so now specify the user's email id assume that here i'm adding this user specify this this person's email id over here now as soon as whenever i'm creating the user user record will be getting created activation means we'll be sending to his email id he will go to his email account open the email notification click on the link he will enter the password and confirm password he can log in into the application from there onwards okay now then who can add this users users can be added only by the salesforce administrator not the developers okay only the salesforce administrator will take care of adding this responsibility okay now so now here i am giving this email id here i am adding my email id here okay i am adding my email id username that already we know username should be always unique across all the region servers okay what about the username that i am going to provide right now with this username we should not have any salesforce account in any other region servers also usernames will be always unique across all the region servers please make sure that ri salesforce won't allow you to create this user now i am indicating the username here user development dot 359 at the rate cas dot com I'm giving the username like this: user development dot three fifty nine at the rate cs dot com. Nickname I'm providing the same. Username user development dot three fifty nine. I'm giving this a nickname over here. Title I'm giving as he is a senior Salesforce developer. Senior Salesforce developer. Company I am indicating as some MNC. Department some development. Division some IT division. Now select that license. Role is showing like as a mandatory, but it's not a mandatory field. It's an optional field. You may select, you may not select that role. We'll see roles concept next. Now, now I would like to select the license. Compulsorily we have to select the license. And we have to select that profile also. Without selecting these two, your user record cannot be created over here. Both are mandatory. So now here I'm selecting this license. What are the licenses are available with you? Those license names are populated over here. See, it is populating the various license names: Charter External, Charter Free, Post.com. Okay, app subscription, Post.com Free, Identity. Okay, and then Partner App Subscription. And then Salesforce, Salesforce platform, Work.com, and then XR proxy user only user here. These are the licenses. That means what? It is indicating these are the licenses are available inside your organization. Now I have one Salesforce license is available. I am selecting the license type as Salesforce. When I try to create another user, this name Salesforce will not be visible. Why? Because Salesforce licenses are no more available. Okay. So now at that time it won't show that license name inside this pop-up pick list. What are the licenses are available inside your organization? Only those license names will be getting populated here. Now I'm selecting this license Salesforce. Select the profile. So with this license type, we have so many profiles are available. But I don't want to use standard profiles given by Salesforce. I want to use my own custom profile that is CIS or Salesforce profile which I have created over here. Select the profile name. Okay, select the profile name and then click on save button. That's it. Remaining data will be optional. If you want, we can enter. If you don't want, leave it. No issues. Okay. Clear up to this one. Now, click on save button. So now your user record has been created successfully. The user activation link has been sent to that user email ID by default over here. Now let me go to that user account here. That means email ID. I'm going to my Gmail account here, which I have given inside that form. Now I have received one email notification from Salesforce. It is indicating welcome to Salesforce. Verify your account. So this is the user's email ID. He will go to his email account. 
click on verify account button here the remaining story will be same now reset password now it is indicating that today we have a scheduled maintenance from salesforce okay today we have a scheduled maintenance from salesforce okay on october 15th night at 10 30 pm ist we are having new release of salesforce that is winter 23 okay now so now here we are giving the password confirm password security question and the answer click on change password button now the user account has been activated successfully here user account has been activated successfully now so now tell me who is this user now user double account for this user what license we have designed salesforce license salesforce license will be granting the access on what full permission all including standard including custom now let's go to your application go to the app launcher now click on view all are you able to see the standard applications service marketing community salesforce charter content sales console service console everything this is what our sales application lightning usage app digital experiences farmers insurance this is what custom application now this user can able to access both the standard and custom applications everything we can access here including standard including custom all the applications he can able to access over here that facilities are available over here. okay so whenever we are assigning the salesforce license salesforce license will be granting the permission to the users on all the features standard applications custom applications standard tabs custom tabs standard objects custom objects standard fields custom fields standard features custom features everything they can able to access clear understood the concept now now let's see so now i'm logging out from this user account because they would like to create some more users now click on log out now log in into your administrator account again here okay log in into your administrator account again i'm logging into my administrator account now now so this is one user which we have added right now for this user i have given the username as user development dot 359 at the rate cs.com clear now like the similar passion we have to create the remaining three users also how to create this remaining three users now let me show you with the practical key. the next user is manager user i want to assign platform license now let's go to the system overview first now tell me do we have any salesforce licenses available with you no it is indicating salesforce licenses this will be red color that means full okay so what are the two licenses that we have both the licenses are full no more licenses available over here clear next one let me add the next user go to the users now click on new user the next username is manager user user manager email id i am giving same email id here better to maintain same okay email id and same password or else you have to maintain a excel sheet like as username password username password you have to maintain an excel sheet okay now better to maintain same password and you can give the same email id for all these four users also no issues okay I am giving the username user manager dot three fifty nine at the rate some cas dot com. I am giving the nickname as user manager dot three fifty nine. Now title I am indicating as a project manager. Company some MNC. 
department some development division some it now select that license now tell me do we have the name salesforce here no why licenses are not available if the licenses are not available salesforce licenses are already full we have used both the licenses now we have platform licenses available so select platform select the profile name whatever the profile that we have created select that profile that is cis platform profile because don't assign standard profiles to the users please assign your own custom profiles okay now so now we have created our own custom profile cis platform profile now click on save button so this is the username which i have given now so now the user record has been created we need to activate this user account go to your gmail account we have received the email notification from salesforce this is for user manager that 359 click on verify account button reset the password now give that password here confirm password security question and the answer now the password has been reset for this users now so now tell me for this user what kind of license that have assigned hmm. salesforce license or platform license platform platform license will be granting the permissions on what hmm. all the applications are only custom custom all custom applications so now let's go to the app launcher here now let's see now we can see only custom application do we have any standard applications available here no he can't access any standard applications he can access only the custom applications which we have inside our organization and he can access only the custom applications custom objects custom fields custom tabs custom features along with five standard objects like account contact document task and the event only these objects he can able to access okay now so he can access the second object also contact also document task and the event remaining objects cannot be accessible for this users okay now, now let's come out from this user account let me go to my administrator account now again because i want to add some more users now let's go to that system overview now how many platform licenses are available over here we have three licenses are available how many we have used now one still we have Two more remains. That's what it is indicating. Thirty-three percent utilized. Still, we are having sixty-seven percent is available. Is available. Here. Okay. Now, so let me create that next user. Next user is customer user. He is also the platform licensed user. Let me go to the users. Click on new user button. user customer email id i am giving that same email id here username user customer dot 359 at the rate some cas dot com user customer dot 359 title i am indicating he is a customer company some mnc department some development division some it he is one of our customer here for my development organization licenses do we have platform license available or not yes now select that platform select the profile as same cis platform profile can we assign the same profile to multiple users yes we can assign now click on save button now the user has been created successfully 
this is the user name. Now, now let me activate the user account. Go to the email ID. Click on verify account button. Now I'm giving the password. I'm giving the security question and the answer. Now for this user, what type of license we have assigned platform? He is also able to access only custom functionalities. No standard at all. He can't access even one standard application also. No. Now let's log out from this user account here, customer user. Log in into the administrator account. Now, let me go to the system overview now. How many licenses we have used? Platform licenses we have used two. Still, we are having one license remains over here. Now, let me create the third user also. The last one. Click on new user. Who is this user? Testing user. User testing. Email ID, I'm giving as same email ID. Username, user testing dot 359 at the rate cas.com. Now here I'm indicating the title as he is a senior test engineer. Company some MNC, development some testing development, testing department, division some QA, QA division. He is from testing department. I am assigning the license as platform license. I am selecting that same profile here. Click on save. Now your user record will be getting created successfully. So this is the username which I have given for my, for my users. Okay. So let me activate this user account now. Click on verify account. I'm giving the password. Confirm password. Security question and the answer. For this user also, we have assigned same type of license that is platform license. So it will be granting the access on only on custom applications. No standard, only custom applications can be accessible. Now, let me log out from this user account now. I'm going to my system administrator account. So let's go to the system overview. How many licenses are available? Do we have any licenses available with you? No, all are full. Two Salesforce licenses are full. Three platform licenses are also full. All the licenses we have used by adding these five users. Now, when you go to the users, we can verify who are all the users are available. Go to the users link. Now we can see the user. The administrator can see all the users' information. Now this is the training batch user, which is the administrator. And then we have created four more users: customer user, development user, manager user, testing user. 
So these are the four users which we have created. These are the profiles which we have assigned for this users. For the customer user, we have assigned platform profile. For the development user, Salesforce profile. For manager user and the testing user also, we have assigned platform profile. Now tell me these users are in active status or inactive status? Active status, how do we know? Checkbox. So now it is indicating, there is a checkbox is indicating whether user is active or not. If the user is active, he can log in into the application. If the user is inactive, he can't log in into my application. Okay? Now. Understood the concept here? How to add the users to the Salesforce R? Now, this is how keep on they're adding some new users. Like for example, whenever you are opening a new bank account, in that application form, I'm selecting some checkbox here. Please enable online banking for me. Whenever you are selecting the checkbox, they will be adding your details as okay, user inside that application so that we can able to access that. Suppose if you're not using this bank account since almost six months, then automatically your active checkbox will be getting unselected. You can't log in into the bank account. We have to go to the bank branch. We have to raise an application. Again, they will activate your account again. Okay, then only we can access. Clear? Understood the concept now? Now. So now this is the way we are adding the users to our Salesforce R. Okay. The users can log in into their Salesforce application okay, by using their credentials also. Okay, now let's see. For example, we have development user. Development user wants development to log in user into, user this to log into this application. So development user wants to log in into the application. How he can log in? I'm using a different browser now. Through a different browser, I would like to log in into that user. In the Chrome browser, administrator is utilizing this account. Okay, admin person is accessing this application. That means training back user is accessing by using Chrome browser. I'm using another browser here that is Microsoft Edge. By using the Edge browser, I would like to access the application. Login.salesforce.com. Specify the username and the password. What is the development user's username? You can specify the username and the password. Click on login. Now the user can log in into the application. That means what? Not only that administrator, now our salesperson also will be able to access the application. Okay? Multiple people can access the application at the same time. Now, I would like to log in with another user also. I have another user, manager user now. I want to log in to the manager user by using a different browser, by using Opera. I'm using this Opera browser here. I would like to log in. HTTPS login.salesforce.com I have given that username and the password. Now, this is a manager user. Manager user can able to log in into my application over here. He can access only certain features. I have one more user, like as for example, customer user. I would like to log in by using Firefox browser here. I'm using Salesforce login. I'm giving the password. Now. So now the customer user also can able to access my application. Over here. So organization is same, but the users are many. Multiple users can log in from different, different locations with their usernames, with their passwords. Over here. As an administrator, I will control everybody's accessibility here. What features this development user can access? What features manager user can access? What application customer user can access? Everything I can control here. 
I can monitor everybody's users activities also as an administrator here. Okay, understood the concept now. So till now we have only one user is available, but now we have added multiple users. So multiple people can log into a single Salesforce organization with their usernames, with their passwords, and they can access my applications and the data and the features and everything. Okay, depends upon the user how to restrict the permissions. We'll see okay in the next session. So okay. So in the next session, we'll see how can we see some more features. That means how to manage the users, we'll see practically in next session. So as part of this security, we are done with the licenses and the profiles. We are done with adding the users. In the next session, I will show you how to manage the users. We'll see the user management along with we'll see the concept of role hierarchy. Okay. The next session will be on Monday again. Tomorrow we don't have the session. Tomorrow is a Sunday. So tomorrow is an off. So we don't have the session. And next session will be on Monday. On Monday, we are going to discuss about user management and the role hierarchy. So by Monday, everybody has to create these four users inside their organization. If you have the users, then only we can assign the roles. If you have the users, then only we can deactivate. If you have the users, then only we can able to freeze. The other without these users, we can't do these operations. Okay, because if there is any some more users are available, then only security will come into the picture. Okay, so that users are mandatory. Create these four users. Before creating the users, create the two profiles first. Once the profiles are ready, then start creating the users and then try to log in with that user accounts into your Salesforce organization with their credentials. Okay, clear now. So by Monday, everybody should have your own Salesforce users. That means, okay, you should be able to access all the four users also. You can give any username, whatever you want. But for my convenience, I have given the usernames as development user, manager user like that. You can give any name, whatever you want. Okay. Thank you. Sir.